Hello everyone, Books with Banks back again with another video. Today I'm going to talk about uh, the slightly slower reading month that I had in February uh, mixed with some of my March reading plans and how a lot of what I had planned on getting to in February I wasn't unfortunately able to get to uh, so that will now be shifting to my March uh, reading goals. This past month has been pretty busy. This month coming up is going to be pretty busy too so uh, I I'm not too, you know, worried about my reading goals for the year or anything like that uh, if I spread things out a little bit more over over these two months. Uh, before I get too far into it, though, it would really mean a lot if you could like and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, thank you so much uh, if you have, and also if you want to leave any comments on what I have started reading, what I haven't gotten to, what I'm about to read, anything like that, just let me know down in the comments below. Uh, but, without any further ado, I'll go over the one I really only accomplished of my like five main reading goals for the month. I only really accomplished one big thing, and that was getting through these um, next five volumes of Berserk. Six, seven, eight, I really like that cover on the front and guts, um, nine, and 10. Uh, so I did complete reading these. Woo! Yeah, I did that. Um, and then everything else that I finished this month was a bit of a surprise, or things that I just didn't really plan on reading. Uh, I'll throw up an image now. The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde by Robert Louis Stevenson. I had never read this before, um, and I just, I totally loved it. I have a, a video on my channel where I kind of tease about what story this is, try to see if people can guess, just because there's so much from the original story that I feel like hasn't survived really today into popular conversation uh, and into how the story is referenced. Uh, so it's always fun, I think, to go back and read those classics and uh, see what see what kind of original ideas and uh, like unique things we can pick out of them that aren't just the main ideas that have survived to. Uh, to today. Uh, and then I read parts two, uh, two and three of Shakespeare's Henry VI trilogy uh, of history plays all about the wars of, or the build up to the Wars of the Roses uh, and Henry VI's reign as king, the families that were fighting Lancaster versus York, um, you know, debating who had the better claim to uh, the English throne, the English crown. Uh, really great plays. I have a video uh, also up right now where I go through, or in which I go through these three plays. I also give kind of a broader overview of Shakespeare's history plays and exactly what they are and what they're all about in general uh, to kind of place the Henry the VI ones in, you know, context. Um, yeah, uh, really, really enjoyed these. Had not planned on reading them this month, but I gave them a try. Really loved them. Uh, and I I will say my favorite thing I read this month uh, that I read all the way through was Robert Louis Stevenson's The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, if we're going to do any awards or anything like that. Uh, next up, a couple things that I'm still in the middle of. I have started listening to the audiobook narrated by narrated by John John Banks of Ian Esselmont's Dancer's Lament book 1 of his Path to Ascendance, Ascendancy series and this is a series that uh, this is exists in the Malazan um, universe uh, so you know Malazan Book of the Fallen novels of Malazan Empire those other larger series um, those series are complete this one is ongoing uh, the fourth book is set to come out later this year and so I'm revisiting the three that are out so far um, of this kind of Molasson uh, sub slash prequel series and uh, I'm revisiting them on audiobook. I'm a little more than halfway through this. I have a kind of a brief check-in, halfway point check-in video up on my channel about my experience so far rereading or listening to this one and by the end of this week I expect to have uh, a I've, to have finished this book and to have uh, a more like a fuller book review out uh, of this one and then I'm really looking forward to in March continuing uh, with book two in this uh, again the sub series uh, or the side series 
Book two is called Bed House Landing, book three is called Kel and Bed's Reach, and the one coming out later this year is called Forge of the High Mage. And those are Ian C. Esselmont, his Path to Ascendancy series. Um, I'm, yeah, really enjoying this so far. I had really only planned to start reading this this, uh, this month, so I sort of accomplished that. I haven't quite uh, finished it yet, though, or finished listening to it yet, though. So there's that. And then I'm a bit more than halfway through book two of four of these larger kind of om like omnibus I guess size um you know four books uh, of Neil Gaiman's Sandman, Sandman and um what I'm in the middle of right now is the uh, the a game of you sort of smaller series of issues within this uh like or that that chapter that a game of you chapter um because all of these chapters consist of uh or these kind of sections these uh storylines or story arcs in sandman consist of like six or seven issues a piece uh, and a game of you is one of the last ones uh in this collection and so i'm nearing the end of that and i I'd hope to finish this in February, but I will pro most likely be finishing it in the next week or so, uh, moving into March. And then I'm also, I'm still only about 100 pages into The Stone Sky by N.K. Jemisin. Uh, I am enjoying it so far. I'm about a fourth of the, of the way through. Um, I just haven't really been finding the time or had the time to, uh, or nothing's been pulling me back to this one as strongly as I, I I'd hoped it would, uh, but I will be really trying to um, trying to get this one done in the next couple weeks or so. Uh, yeah, so that's the Stone Sky Book Three and N.K. Jemisin's The Broken Earth trilogy. Again, I'm enjoying it so far. It's just not, you know, like I'm not dying to get back to it every time. Like every time I'm away from it, you know, I, I'm not I'm not super super passionate about it. Uh, if if that makes sense. But I am looking forward to finishing this up, and when I do, I'll probably make a video um, because I haven't reviewed separately um, book one, the fifth season, or book two, the Obelisk Gate. Um, so I'll probably just do a full trilogy review uh, for this. Um, yeah. So there's that, and these are again the three things that I'm still in the middle of uh, that I haven't quite finished this month, uh, and then. Last but not least, I feel so bad that I haven't had the time to get to this one yet, uh, and it's book three in Jenny Wars' Wars of Light and Shadow series, War Host of Vastmark. I'm really, really excited to get to this one because book two in this series is basically the first half of this story. Um, so, and this is the second concluding half of this kind of arc within the larger series. So I'm really, really excited to get to this one. However, as I mentioned, I just didn't quite have enough time to uh, start it in February, but I will for sure be, be picking it up in the month of March. And I, I still, I can't wait. At the beginning of this month, it was really hard and tempting for um, me not to pick this one up right away and put other kind of reading things I had assigned myself. Um, it was hard for me to not ignore those uh, and go with this. Um, but I did that and then I just went on some weird tangents with the Shakespeare stuff and uh, Robert Louis Stevenson. Uh, this month I really do plan on keeping it kind of tight to just these four things, maybe a volume or two more of Berserk, uh, but I want to finish these three things, uh, maybe continue with the um, Malazan or the Malazan prequel series uh, audiobook stuff, and then uh, definitely start and try and read this whole book this month, uh, the month of March. Uh, so yeah, that, uh, that's some of the exciting stuff I have coming up on my channel. Um, really just finishing things I most, for the most part, started uh, last month. Uh, but I look forward to hearing anyone's comments down below about any of these things I'm in the middle of. Uh, anything that, um, if anyone, you know, might remember back to December when I was making uh, 2023 TBR lists and things like that. Uh, if there's any series that you're uh, worried that I haven't started yet and you have questions about what month or when in the year you think I uh, or you, you're curious I might be picking those up just let me know down below and I'll I'll give you an approximate answer of when I'm thinking about tackling certain things quick example uh, Outlander season 
uh, 7 is going to come out, I believe, uh, later this summer. And so around the time, the months or so right before that starts, that's when I'll probably dive back into more Outlander stuff. Um, and yeah, then there's just a bunch of different series and different things I want to try this year. And I'm, uh, I'm really excited to get into all of it and uh, to hear what everyone has to say and everyone's responses along the way. So thank you all so much for watching. Have a good day. Bye.